What is going on guys and welcome back to episode 3 of the Field Coupe restoration build. Now the engine looks really nice, but there's something else we need to address. And that's the engine bay itself. It does not match the engine, or the beauty of the engine itself, so time to restore it. And there's a lot we need to do. There's one thing that's been annoying me quite some time and that's the balance shaft. Actually there are two balance shafts and they have bearings and they are worn out. And now the engine makes a really high pitched noise which annoys me. So we're going to use a kit and remove the balance shaft or at least remove the belt. And by removing the balance shaft belt we also remove some complexibility of the engine and also remove the risk of it snapping and going into the timing belt. And while we're in there, we're also going to change the timing belt itself. So without further ado, let's start. I electroplated all the parts and they're ready to be put back on. We have a lot of spare parts that go into the box. Well, after getting rid of all the oil leaks, there's one oil leak left and that's actually the gasket of the oil sump. So we're going to drain all the oil, remove the old gasket, change it and put it back. Here you can see the oil leak coming from this corner. It's the last one and then we finally we have a clean floor or at least keep it clean. Thank you. 
Oh no! How dare you! <laughs> well, okay, note to myself, draining the oil, do not use a funnel, <laughs> putting the oil in, use it. After some magic, it looks like this. The turbo has seen better days and it's really nasty, however the shaft has no play so we take it apart to clean it and replace the gaskets. Keep in mind how it looks now. Well, there was one thing I was waiting for and that was actually one small gasket. This one here, and it finally turned up so we can assemble the engine and the front back together. I will now prepare and electroplate all the parts, but I cannot explain in full detail how this works. This is not without dangers and it should only be performed at own risk. There are plenty of very good videos out there that can explain it way better than I can. The only thing I will say is always wear safety equipment when attempting this sort of stuff.
Back to the dirty turbo part, let's give it a new life. Well, we can't throw any paint on while everything is assembled. So, first thing we're going to do is disassemble everything. How not to remove aircon hoses. Before we can paint anything, we first need to clean the entire engine bay. After I apply the rust converter, I now spray it with an anti-stone chip coating. Layer 1, primer. Layer 2, paint. Uh. 
Sadly, my camera died and I didn't realize it in time. But here's the finished product, so enjoy! The engine bay is nice and painted and protected for the years to come. It now even matches the engine itself, so a thing of beauty. All that's left to do now is put everything back together, but that's something for the next episode, so you have to stay tuned. And we're also going to install something really nice. It's right here, if you can guess what it is. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next episode. Make sure to subscribe and check out my Instagram so you don't miss anything.